I just said three and then I went did a four, but <laughs> that's a good blooper. And maybe. <laughs> Come over. Smarty. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> you may know this face. This is John, my husband, in case you haven't been around and don't know who the stranger is. He is a talented dyer. Maybe you don't know that, maybe you do. Last time we dyed wool together, how long ago was that? Maybe six weeks? It's been a minute. Six to eight weeks, something like that. Something like that. Do you think that's about right? Okay. Um, last time we died together, we talked to died fiber together. We talked about the <laughs> possibility of John doing like a series kind of of fibers on one words thingies. What would you yep. call that? One word inspirations that you gave him. And some of you cheated. There were come on some of them were a more than one word, however. So you're gonna let that we're gonna, slide? We're gonna work with it. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> so he picked four. He is gonna do all four. Do you wanna say what they are? Do you want them to be, what do you, how do you, do you want them to be a surprise? Well, I gotta get my notes. <laughs> okay, so somebody came up with discombobulated. <laughs> uh, River Stones, Autumn Afternoon, and Iris. The very first one was Trish. There's no way I could capture that. Um, so well, I moved on to discombobulated. I'm not sure if that's even um, good. <laughs> okay, well, they just be pink, blue, and sparkly. <laughs> Ooh, we're doing them. Four of them today. I'm going to dye two, but I am just going to do some Bridget for the shop and some chocolate covered cherries for the shop. So it's not going to be as exciting. So I will let you see both pans and what's going on, but. His is way more exciting. And he is gonna talk about what he's doing. This is just gonna be like a pretty fun, fun to watch. Cause I know how much you guys like the transformation of the fibers. So let's go. Could be Are bouncy ready? music. Oh yeah, there's usually bouncy music. <laughs> and I've soaked the fibers, just for those who wanna know, I've soaked the fibers overnight unintentionally. We were supposed to do this yesterday and then we went and ran errands and we ate too much food. We did. <laughs> we came back and laid on the couch and watched Sopranos instead of doing, taking I did that whole walrus thing on the couch. <laughs> so I ground down his tusks and then now we're gonna do the fibers. So, <laughs> so we're ready to go, but I did soak it overnight. He's got three different bases, mm -hmm. right? I think so. And he's gonna explain why during the talk through. So let's go, are you ready? Do it. Let's do this Are thing. You ready? It's go time. It's go time. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna know why that's hilarious, yeah. but it's okay. This one is the natural BFL yep. with the silk. This one is the one with the sparkle. Sparkle. Okay, I want that. That yeah. So that's you know Irish. what one you want that to be. I don't. And then I these don't know two if are I the was same supposed ones. to say it or not. Yeah. Okay. Um, they're both Corydale cross. Not that it matters, but we might want the documentation later. This one is going to be River Stones. This one is going to be Iris. And this one and this one are going to be Discombobulated and Autumn Afternoon. I'm trying something different here. This occurred to me when I saw the word discombobulated. I thought, well, it's got to be something different. It's got to be something a little bit wild. And I'm going to go pick out some colors because I want a couple of stripes on here. Outside of that, you'll see what I'll do. So we're looking for blue steel. Is this it? Yep. Blued steel. All right. And then uh, we want a kind of a medium gray color. Uh, there is one in here, but this one's probably better. Okay. Silver gray. 
and some light blue. What kind of blue? It's more purpley. Oh, intense iris. We'll go with that one. Okay. And then. But do you want a brown brown instead? Yes. That, okay. I'd rather have a brown brown. I'm going to put stripes on discombobulated. And just a couple of them. And I think I want to go with. Uh, forest green's a little too dark. Do you want a green? I want that chartreuse. I'm going to use that anyway. I took it out already. Is it out already? Yeah. Okay. I got to use it for Bridget. And then, uh, something like a, a bright purple. Electric purple? Oh, here. Here's the electric violet. Electric violet. Okay. Does that work? Yep. That'll okay. work. We just want to make sure that we got plenty of dye in there. Okay. Now comes the fun part. Two clamps on the front of this. Mm -hmm. Fold it around. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So how did you get the idea to do this? Well, discombobulated kind of threw me at first. And then I thought, well, discombobulated means just kind of out of the ordinary, a little bit messed up maybe. <laughs> and so I thought, well, most everything that I do is kind of planned, sometimes even to the point of how I arrange the fiber which you'll see again in a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I thought if I put just a couple of colors down underneath and then I make my riverbed and then I add stones to it. Okay. And then whatever drains through is going to color what's underneath it. Discombobulated. Okay. Some of this I want to put in dry. We'll put in chestnut. A couple of sprinkles of chestnut here and there.
think we need some right there. There we go. That's enough chestnut. This one is a little bit of intense iris. And I don't know if this one will show up or not, but this one is silver gray. Well. And then I see some black stones in my riverbed. And then we got blued steel. We're going to fill in a few other spots here with blued steel. We want happy sand in the bottom of our riverbed. <laughs> little nod to Bob Ross there. Well, I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. I guess we'll see. Once it's all cooked and braided, it might look different.
matter? Nothing, I'm just squaring them up. Squaring them up again. They got a little... Oh my lord. Jumbled. Okay, so river stones and discombobulated. <laughs> So autumn afternoons have football in them, so sometimes, for some people. Well, your version does. Yeah, as far as my dyed version does. So with that one, we use chestnut again and some people's autumn afternoons mm -hmm. They're out hunting. We get a little blazing orange. That's my favorite orange. It's a good one. It is a good one. And then some autumn afternoons have pumpkins. So we got some pumpkin orange coming in here. Golden poppy because the leaves are changing. I love golden poppy too. And then what's better than sunlight sunshine on a autumn afternoon? Yellow sun. To be confused with black hole sun. <laughs> Different sun. Heroin free yellow sun. <laughs> and some of the trees have not changed yet. There's still a few late hangers on. Still have some green on and I will end up with some brown in there
All right, but this is going to be Iris. Do you want a really blue blue? Yeah. I do have some. It's this one. Yep. Okay. I think this is sapphire. Sapphire will work. You may have thought I was going to go for a flower. Instead, I went for an eyeball. <laughs> Pupil. Iris. Blue like my wife's. I didn't want to just leave it white, so I used platinum gray on the outside. Okay, we're back. Okay, everything's dry. I thought I would take you through everything. I'm gonna go through John's first, then I'll quickly show you mine. His are the most important in this video. They've all dried overnight. I got them all braided this morning. It's still pretty early. It's pre-8 a.m. And there's somebody like with a truck out on the road, probably filling potholes. We live in the country. Our road is a mess. So this is my favorite of the four that he did. This is River Rocks. I feel like it is just 
gorgeous. Browns, blues, grays, and this is on that BFL silk, the natural colored BFL silk that I like so much. Might have something to do with why it turned out to be a favorite because I do love this base. Definitely something that I would like to spin. And then here is his Discombobulated. This is the one that he put the X's on and then let the River Rocks um, colors drip onto it. He was not sure during the cooking process and um, even the really the dripping dyeing process. He wasn't sure if he'd like it, but it turned out so cool. Here is Autumn Afternoon. Also really pretty. There's always something magical, magical about drying, fluffing up, and braiding. Turned out so awesome. It's a lot of just bright autumn colors. And then he got some kind of cool olives when the orange and the green mixed up here, which is what you how you would get olive green. So, and then there's one more, which, oh, here. Last but not least, this is his iris. Turned out pretty cool. This has the BFL and Firestar base. So it's got sparkle in it. Forgot to say, Discombobulated and Autumn Afternoon are on the Corydale Cross base that I like really like to dye. It's super fluffy and wooly and I love it. I have some Targhee I did, so give me a name idea. I would love it. I've kind of had this one in my head for a while and I think I got it just right. This one is very similar but has a little bit more of the darker blue in it. This is Flamenco. Some of you have bought this already and I just dyed this colorway again. Now this one is called Kitty Cat. I don't know, it just reminded me of like animal prints. Carol Bass. These are all, I think these are, those were Targi, these are Corydale. And I don't have a name for this one either. So if you have a name idea for the, I guess, pink and purples and blues, this is definitely a fave for me, of course. I was really inspired by the Paradise Fibers um, stitch markers this month. So I did one of my colorways, you can see it in the video is called abalone it is purples greens and blues and there is black um because it always has those kind of like veins where the layers happen in the abalone so there's black spread out in small veins over it i have two of these so this is the abalone and this is on that natural colored bfl silk as well and then at the end i wanted to do some like the mother of pearl as well and I had two braids left and they were, um, one was the Corydale and one was the natural BFL silk. And I thought it might be kind of cool to dye them actually in the same pan, exact same colorway, so that I could see just kind of like how different they are, I guess. So here is Mother of Pearl on the Corydale and on the natural BFL silk blend. I think they're really both cool. I feel like this one is more representative of the stitch marker because the undertone isn't really white. But both of them still turned out really cool. I think I would have liked maybe the colors to be a little even more muted on the white. But hard not to love these. Am I right? I mentioned in the beginning I dyed a couple braids of chocolate covered cherries. I've had this in the shop. I don't know, three or four times, and it's a favorite for me. So I just did two of these on the Corydale. It, they turned out very nice, very true to the typical colorway I like chocolate covered cherries and that's all of them so thanks for joining us for dyeing I think next week I will be washing some of the fleeces I got at the shearing day that I attended I mentioned it during a live I hope you guys have a wonderful week this coming Sunday there will not be a live in the U.S. it's Father's Day and I'm going to drive across the state and see my dad his birthday was this past Sunday so it's like you know I want to see him for both so I will not be here Sunday 
Friday, I'm going to do a live bat making here at 3 o'clock my time, which is Eastern Standard Time right now. And I will be taking audience input. So I'll be asking like for basically votes on, you know, do you think I should add this or do you think I should add this? Which of these two colors? That kind of stuff. So I will see you guys there. I hope you have a great week. I hope you don't get too hot. In the US, we have a heat wave coming across the country and I can't really say that I'm upset because we have had such a cold spring so far. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks, I love you, bye.